we're back for another night. Uh, this may be somewhat of a shorter show. We're just going to be running down the UK PTC. Um, as always, I am Joe Tonello. I go by Rider Kick over on whatever this is, my left or right. Computers don't really tell me these things anymore. Uh, it is Jesse Cervini. Hello, everybody. Okay, yeah, we're on. Uh, so, uh, the UK PTC happened last week. Uh, for mm -hmm. a lot of our viewers, uh, the UK has a very, very, very different meta and very different style of playing than ours. I don't know if they're considered far more conservative players or... Um, I don't know. The UK is kind of its own thing. Like, they... They like to play UFS their own way. Uh, I, I'm not going to say that they don't play aggressive, because they definitely have played aggressive over time. But they will play a little bit more mid-game yes. over there, it seems. That's the best way to describe it. They play more mid-game. And for those of you watching, please don't take this as we're sliding anybody to the UK. We love Joe Hill. We love Mike Hardiman. We love everybody over there. We're just making yeah. those of you that do not watch the show or do not have any experience with these wonderful people that their method of playing UFS is vastly different from ours. That's all. Mm -hmm. um, we are not going to be pulling up anything uh, just because, you know, it's a long list and the decks we've talked about have already been talked about in great detail in some way, shape, or form. Um it looks, surprisingly to me, there was no base, but according to Jesse, uh, he got information that says there was not a base deck actually played at this event. Yes, to my understanding. Uh, there was a Turbo Man. There was, there, there was some of the newer characters, just not everybody can make top eight, and sometimes, you know, the, the deck doesn't want to work, even though it's insane. So you never know. Maybe we got Michigan PTC coming up next weekend. I'll actually be attending that one. Uh, and you never know. Maybe we'll get a Turbo Man out of that event and show yeah. how broken it is. Oh, yeah. So, running right down the list, uh, Dan Morris took the took first place. Congratulations to Dan. Um, with uh, Natali 2 Dot, it looks like it's a Natali Dragon Flare deck. Yep, uh, it's a uh, Natali Evil Dragon Flare. Yep. Uh, his design's a little different uh, than the ones we've seen previously where we saw from... Uh, Slam uh, played at the Rochester PTC, uh, or Sonic or Jay Clark played at the Amsterdam event. Uh, this is this attack lineup's a little different. He's running four Cataclysm Beam, uh, but he's also running Novos. Uh, he's running 203 Shiki, uh, which is Iori's uncommon desperation throw. So it looks uh, like this may actually be a pseudo desperation deck to capitalize on yes. some stuff. It looks like to, to make the da make like damage more consistent. Is my guessing? Like it's got flare, he's got cap, uh, chasm beam, he's got chasm buster, obviously. Uh, Two hundred three, uh, Devos and Crescent Moonhook. Um, Crescent Moonhook's the other surprising card here. Um, I kind of like that card. I actually kind of it's one of the cards I really keep hoping it's going to have that, like, come out party and it's just going to destroy somebody with it. Uh, so I'm always up for Crescent Moonhook may, may see him play and doing well. Because uh, that card, if anybody doesn't know what that card does, it's a reversal that for its first E, you can flip it and it becomes a copy of any opponent's attack yeah. that's in their card pool, which well, is really cool. Yeah, I mean, I sat there and just pulled this up and playing this against... Uh... An opposing dragon flare. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. If you can block a dragon flare and then reversal into that moon hook and turn it into a dragon flare, well, you can't do that because dragon flare is safe. But if they tell you another attack, then yes, you can do that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. The other thing we got to remember with crescent moon hook and why it may be really, really good right now for the limited amount of time that we get to play with it is that the damage, uh, the speed and damage of attacks are becoming a lot higher and a lot more aggressive, so this mm -hmm. makes this particular card a lot more valuable and a lot more playable than it ever has been. True. Uh, his deck is predominantly has a lot of heavy, heavier into the, the uh, six checks. Uh, he's playing Where the Seas Meet, uh, Observing the Fight, 
uh, worthy worthy initiate e- uh, in instability and egotisticals, yeah. uh, which is perfectly fine. He's playing four phobias. He's playing basic training. Like, this deck's really built for trying to play three attacks and trying to actually check two of them and using the tally for the last one. Yeah. Um, I like this. I think this. I'm very. I'm good job Dan playing the stack. This is a deck that going into US Nationals people should be aware of. If you don't have a game, actually a seven, if you're playing you want to play seven hand size, if you don't have a game against a game plan against this deck, you will lose to it. Like there's just there's some matchups that like if I if I play this deck at nationals and I get paired against my first three rounds and it's like Turbo Man all over the place, I'll be happy. I'll be like, okay. Can I kill you with this? All right, I killed you. Good game. All right. Uh, we'll move right along. Second place, uh, place was taken by Nathan Ray Doglish. Uh, this yep. is a Yellow Devil Trinity Geyser deck with some uh, it's, stuff. It is, it is, and it is. Yeah, it is, and it isn't uh, a Trinity deck. It's more of just a really good all around uh, yellow devil deck. Like, I think, like, the deck is, yeah, the deck has the geyser plan. The geyser plan is probably first and foremost, but it also has other options. And it's playing, like, Harayuke. It's playing Zagaki offerings, uh, Yamato Supas, which are playing really Yamato good. Spear. Yeah. Yeah. Playing Yamato Spear, uh, playing Curse Flats, playing Crash Drive. Uh, and it also Mega Ball. Like, it's just it's a really good spread of attacks. Mm-hmm. Um, they're like, you're, you're all over the place. Um, one of the things I think he's missing, I I personally like Magnet Slam in this deck. Um, Do you think that should go in over Splat? Um, maybe over Crash Drive, okay, personally. I can see that. that I, that's, I, like, I like Magnet Slam because it's just like, it's almost... It's a, it's just a three low for six. They have to low walk it with him, and sometimes you get that extra stun going off because of Champion of Southtown. It's just tons. Uh, another thing I think he's missing since he's playing four Champion of Southtowns is Ladies Man. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's probably an aesthetic. Um, I mean, but, but yeah, like maybe that's about that's about it though. This deck's pretty good. I really don't have too much to comment. I haven't really seen it. What's the point of having Hanya in this build exactly? Um, protection. Maybe just how he feels. Look up Hanya. Play a weapon card and block attack, steal your opponent. I mean, he is yeah. playing some weapon cards. He is okay. playing weapons. Like, it could definitely be value to him, but... All right. I mean, why not? Uh, sideboard looks pretty decent. Uh, moving over along, uh, third place is Rio Gopal. Uh, playing so, Earth, Andy. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. I feel slightly betrayed by Rio not playing a five hand sizer in this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, Earth, Andy, he has slowly he's slowly building steam in Earth. Uh, for the longest time, and now it's just getting better and better. Uh, I personally built an Andy deck before uh, retiring the game, and uh, sure, you, Dan, and Chirito are just, like, absolutely bonkers in an Andy deck. I didn't even think about mm-hmm. putting Spider Suplex in, but... Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that... I, I built, like, a Sniper Joe deck with a very similar design, except he gets access to one card in a good way that I didn't, which is throw it down. So you just to make these throws gigantic. You're just like, throw it down, throw. Or just throw it down into a low, like a low, and then you activate all of it. And these effects, like you could just wreck people. Yeah. I, I, I'm perfectly fine with it. You did it. This is a good deck. Um, good job, Rio. Uh, keep it up. Not a lot of the new Mega Man stuff in this either, from what I'm looking at it. Not really. Um, you gotta think about it though. Like, I I don't know. I don't know what you would add. Like, 
what was it? Earth? He's playing Earth. So, yeah. like, news? I mean, was what out of. I, mean, I, I know because I'm still not familiar with the news set as much, so I always have to look. Was the um, from Nightman? Not really. Not in this deck. Yeah, well, there we go. Like, maybe just. Maybe stronger than all would be the only thing that I would think maybe to play, but that's about it. Like, I wouldn't play base stuff. I mean, yeah, base stuff. Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kyle Hamilton played Tengu Man. Um, go ahead on this one, Jesse, because you know I'm not too familiar with all this Tengu Man stuff, but this seems right up your alley from the looks of it. All right, so this Tengu Man is running some really spicy cards. Um, it's leading with S Kamachi, which is Tengu Man's common. Uh, he's playing. Four Tornado Hole, three Tengu Dive, three Zero Shiki Hawakyakus, which is Kim's Ultra Rare Kick. So it's just an insane one check with value and then Spregio. Um, the one thing you get out of playing all of these ones and playing specifically Tengu Man is you have a lot of defense. You have a lot of build save. You're able to be safely on the build because. You just pitch a card, and your one checks become three. And if you – here's a great thing you do. If you go play – play play a, check it, play in a foundation against a five. You check a one, say you're checking Tornado Hold. So you can go respond Tengu Man, make it a three, and then Tornado Hold kicks it another two and makes it a five. So you can do crazy stuff like that too. Um yeah, this deck is just build momentum and play big and just try to kill somebody. And like, I think he's literally trying to play Zero Shikis to kill you. All right. Which is perfectly fine. And no sideboard, so what he got in that deck is just what he's got. Yep. He's playing 60 cards. Hmm. Uh, fifth place was Alex Poli. I hope I'm saying that right. I apologize if I'm not. Um, playing life my yeah, uh, life my throws slash big attacks. Uh, this is kind of this is aiming a lot towards the life decks we've seen for a while now. Uh, control early, control and dam big damage early. That's your that's your plan. Um, different for this deck, he is playing tornado hold. Yeah, I noticed that. And Tornado Hold, I mean, Tornado Hold with Mai can be insane because you can do one thing. You can go Reversal Tornado Hold, plus set, plus three, plus three with Mai, and then activate Tornado Hold and ready Mai again. Yeah. So it gives you, like, a way a way to keep going. Like, it just gives you a way to ready Mai again. So, like, oh, I got another Reversal off with Chris Splat. Oh, play, play Chris Splat. Do it again. Like, it gets that, like, spread, stretch damage. Uh um... It looks like there is some uh, ending stuff in the foundation set. So portal barrier. Playing and... portal, portal barrier and challenge the gods, which are great. Yeah. Uh, challenge the gods is a one, th a one five, plus three high block. Your it negates your opponent's next enhance. It's just e this, and sometimes that's just how it goes. You're just like. Put that out there. And sometimes players don't ha have a lot. There's some decks that don't have free enhances to just go like, oh, make a check. They, they just don't or make it just hey, you have to commit something. You're more or less saying, I'm going to commit this. You're going to burn a, burn your next enhance. And if their next enhance is the one that stops you from killing them, that's that's their problem. They're screwed. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is a good. This is a really good deck. Uh, it's very heavy in the How I Oaken plan, uh, or just launching big throws. I like it. Uh, mm -hmm. Next up, we got Jonathan Armstrong playing. I believe that's the new Doctor Wiley. Doctor Wiley. Two yes, dot. he's uh, playing Doctor Wiley Two Dot with two of the original Doctor Wileys. Uh, from the build, it looks like he's playing Death. Uh, Helldung, Pinbot, Copy, Capsule Zap. Yeah, Flying Fortress Oh, like, mm -hmm. uh, I forgot. Was Zap the best one of the three? Yeah, Zap's the one that's E, take an ally foundation and put it into your station area. 
which is ridiculous. Um, this deck's really cool. Uh, one of my guys locally, Andrew Force, built this deck, a very similar version of this deck. And once you realize that Dr. Wily is every ready phase, you pick up a card from your pick up an ally card from your momentum, you're like, it's just insane the the value you can get. That almost sounds like chain throw kunai. Mm, it is, but you can only pick up allies. So like you only pick up ally attacks or ally cards. Um, I gotta look because once again, still still haven't interacted with these cards a lot. These gate cards a lot, so it's always tough. Uh, Doctor Wheelie, uh, there you are. It's Dr. Why we? Why we? Uh. After the ready phase, reveal your momentum and add one ally attack. So he's very much going pick up an attack from your momentum every turn. Uh, you have to block him aggressively uh, is a big thing. Uh, this deck plays Spellbound, which is kind of a it's a really cool card for this deck. Uh, Spellbound is E, plus one damage to your ally or safe attack. Just, just straight E. And then it's if it's destroyed by an opponent's effect, uh, add a face off the top of the deck. Ah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, really good. What else have we got in here? Black Justice, the power of dark energy, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, Challenge of the Gods, always really good. Uh, Mysterious Mr. X, really good. Reform Scientist, now that's a card you don't see a lot of people play. I like that card. Um, Reform Scientist is stops Breaker. That's the big thing about it. Or it stops. Um, it it stops cards that affect. It doesn't. Exact, I think it's just mainly it's in there because it stops Breaker. Yeah. Um, but but it does other. It definitely does other things. Um, Reform Scientist. After your opponent plays an ability on a non-carried card that modifies the difficulty of a card, cancel it. Um, that could go a lot of different ways. There was a lot. There's cards, you know, out there that are like minus X difficulty to my next attack, um, or to my like. There's, there's cards that they, this card does interact with. Yeah. But yeah, good deck. Uh, great uh, plan. I like the uh, I like the idea of it. Uh, and especially like everybody's like Skull Fort. Skull Fortress number two is so good with him. Uh, Skull Fortress number two is your ally attacks, all ally attacks with plus one speed, and response when, when an ally foundation is destroyed, reveal the top card if it's an ally card, put it into your staging area face down. Yeah. And I saw my friend Andrew literally go Pinbot Strike Enhance, which is if you destroy a one of your foundations, replace it. And then, like that, and like he went, like, Pinbot strike, auto replace, this response, oh, hit one, replace. Like, he replaced one for three. It was wow. crazy. And I apologize if I keep looking down. I have my phone turned on UFS Ultra, so I'm looking some of this stuff up, stuff up as we go along. <laughs> and I've got my primary screen and my side screen. I'm kind of going back and forth here. <laughs> well, remember, I live in a single monitor world, so. Yes, Joe does. Uh, I don't have a need for a second monitor. <laughs> uh, Rook takes pawn. That's pretty interesting. Cunning puzzler. All very interesting plays. Um, I like, um, I do like Rook takes pawn. It's kind of a good, it's good in this meta. There's a lot of flip foundations. And this deck kind of, if it destroys a lot of its stuff and gets behind, it can get really aggressive. Especially destroying uniques. I mean, there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. All right. Uh, Let's, get on... huh? Let's get on to the next guy. I want to talk about this deck. All right. So, Samantha Wolfell, again, I apologize yep. if I got the name wrong. Uh, Magnet Man with a whole slit. Well, this is the Slaughterhouse build. So, Sam already gets my highest praise. For using uh, one of my favorite endings characters, character cards. Yep. God, I yep. wish he had a actual character card. That'd just be amazing. Mm -hmm. So this deck is really cool. Uh, for it's an all it's an all deck, uh, obviously. Uh, it's playing po polar warped, 
playing Transform. Uh, it's running Slaughterhouse. It's got Magnet Slams, Shoryu Dance, Chris Splats, uh, Magnet Missile, and then it has Hurricane Upper. Hurricane Upper is so good in this deck. Oh, God, yes. What you want to do is go mid. You want to go, like, lead with Slaughterhouse, play a Magnet Slam, that like, play a low, play a high, and then go Hurricane Upper, and you're just, like, plus three damage to every one of my multiples. Yep. So good. Uh, it's playing Remembrance for safety, uh, safeness. It's playing Quick and Precise. This is a really good deck. I like it. It's very straightforward, but it's magnet. It's magnet man too. Well, actually, so you also have you also have the committal effect to, to add to it. Actually, I was looking at it. Uh, if she's got slaughterhouse, that's plus five to all the hurricane uppers. Um, because it's plus three it, for magnet man, and then it's. Uh, but but slaughterhouse is only highs and lows get the bonus. Oh, you're right. My mistake. I mean, it's really good at certain cards, though. Well, I don't know. I mean, if she has that one card that turns it to a low. Does she have it? She does not. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm thinking of that Snake Man uh, card. Mm -hmm. Look, I just want to abuse Slaughterhouse. I can't help it. I agree with you. And uh, no, I, I really like this deck. I've always really liked it. I've always really liked the Slaughterhouse build. I thought it went in very naturally with Magnet Man. Uh, Magnet Man and uh, Slaughterhouse just in the Magnet Slam alone is just devastating. Mm -hmm. Or Magnet or uh, Slaughterhouse, Shorty Udan, put a card in your card pool. Then Magnet Slam. Multiple. Or... Then oh, multiple yeah. the Shorty Udan. Like, oh. Oh, yeah. Um. Going down the foundations, Artifact Avarice, everybody knows that's really good. Summer Heat, Getting a Ride, Kyo Kungan Disciple, Petrol Power, Remembrance. This is all just really good, safe stuff. I really like it. Yep. yep. Uh, rounding it out is Richard Bedensow. I believe he owns or is the store runner for Patriot Games. Unsure. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but he's playing Void Jiffy the Jamber. Jiffy Jamber. Still say that sounds like a reject from Jim and the Holograms. Jiffy Jamber. I'm not Sorry, it has to be, has to be Matt for a moment. <laughs> um, this deck is your very current void control style deck. Um, it is running one of the dirtiest plays in the game right now in the in the void control plan, which is maximal laser petrol powered. <laughs> If anybody who's unsure about how Metro, uh, Maximally the Petro Power works, get three Petro Powers into your staging area with a bunch of other foundations. Play Maximal Laser. Pick up your Petro Powers plus two plus three. Okay, now play all three of your Petro Powers again. Play a Maximal Laser plus six damage. Pick up your, your Petro Powers plus three plus three. Yep. It's a plan. It's a code condition. It really is. Like, and it's you just have to play a high can size character so you can do it quickly. Yeah. Personal, it's my least a personal thing. Um, Nobody bigger than Jeff. Yep. So cool cards he's playing. He's playing Mathematician, uh, which is like a I think a really underrated card from Indians. Uh, Mathematician is, if I remember correctly, let's make sure I'm talking about the right card really quick because I don't want to sound like an idiot. Yep. Okay. It's E destroy after your opponent's attack resolves, flip it. Playable while committed. Uh, that means that stops combo, which is always good. Uh, it stops any and the attack to their momentum. It's kind of cool. Um, and then it has also response commit before the block step. This attack gets plus two damage for each unique foundation in your opponent's staging area. Oh, you like those uniques? Deal with this. <laughs> this card would have been really good in like a few formats ago where there was a ton of uniques out there. It's like not great anymore, but it, it's still okay. Like it sometimes can be plus four, plus four, plus six damage. 
Um, we got a question from Unbro and seems do multiple copies count as printed mid attacks? No, uh, they do not. They, 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 they I was gonna say yes and no. The turn that they you are currently playing them they count as a mid attack, but once it resolves, just say you're mute, I think. Oh. No, now you're not. Hello? Okay, am I am I good? Yeah, you're good now. Uh, okay. when you play the multiple and you're on that multiple's enhanced step, they uh, yeah. do. But once the attack resolves, they are considered a blank card, so then they do not. So yeah. it's a yes so, and no scenario. So, so here's, here's what happens. happens. Um, pretty, pretty much, much the, the best, best thing with Magnet Man, man uh, with, with multiples, multiples is look, look at, at the, the printed, printed cards, cards in your card pool, pool not your multiples. Uh like, like technically, technically the, the printed, printed zone, zone of the printed zone of a multiple is mid. If say you're playing a high and your opponent does return to printed zone, it goes to a mid now. That is the ruling. So technically it's mid, but but it but there's it's weird because the best thing with madness the magnet man is look at your card pool and look at your actual printed attacks. <laughs> You want the mid, you want the high, and you want the low. So pretty much you want to go, like, the best way to do it is, like, play a low, play a high, play hurricane upper, the upper, and all the other attacks are plus three damage. Yeah. Yep. All right, so that is your circuit slash PTC rundown for uh, Britain, the UK, over in Colchester. Really yep. like all the decks. Uh, again, congratulations to Mr. Morris, piloting Natali. Uh, it'll mm -hmm. be interesting to see who gets the uh, Dragon Flare after she goes away, I believe, in October, November-ish? November. November. Um, after that, uh, we have uh, Michigan. So what do you think we're going to see in Michigan, Jesse? Um, the best of the best. I was going to say, aside from Unbridled Madness. Um, I think, uh, let's see here. We're going to see Turbo Man. Uh, I think he's going to be shining, a shining star at that event. Still going to see some Felicia. We're probably going to see a base deck that's going to emerge. Uh, probably another Natali still. Probably, you know, like I think the standards, the standard suspects are going to be there, and then, <clears throat> like the bot, like there's going to be like about three decks of the top eight. They're going to be like unexpected and are just going to are going to get there on the right numbers. So we'll see. Uh, other than that, we really don't have too much for you tonight, you guys. Uh, we're just kind of playing it by ear for the moment because you know, mm -hmm. uh, we got. Uh, just got a set come out. We don't know what it's going to do in the meta, so we're waiting for a couple PTCs. Uh, other than that, uh, I think the only thing else I could probably share is uh, head over to Miles Tyler of the Omaha group. He's uh, streaming KOF 14 right now. Mm -hmm. Also, also, check out uh, the guys over at Univers UFS University. Those guys are really putting out a lot of work right now. Uh, they're putting a lot of content. They put like they're putting a lot of content out. They're talking about some great topics. Take a second there. Read what they're talking. Listen to what they're talking about. They're short videos, but they always talk about something pretty cool. Yep. Uh, the fact that they're much shorter than everybody else's content, of course. There's only like two other us and what you call it, uh, top deck heroes. Yep. But, you know, uh, all content is good content. Everybody should yep. support everybody. Uh, other than that, uh, we really don't have too much else for you tonight. Uh, we don't have any decks submitted yet at the moment. Uh, we'll take that up it back up in about... You guys can go ahead and send them in if you want. Uh, we will take those up in about two weeks. Because we have yeah. Michigan PTC, and hopefully we'll have a guest from the Michigan PTC. We would have loved to have somebody from Britain, but Britain's kind of tricky to do with the, uh, the time. Like, if it was Rio, we could probably, Rio would stay up for, to, to do a show with us. This is very like true. Uh, but like I said, other than that, no, uh, we're pretty much done for the night, guys, unless, Jesse, you have anything else. No, I'm good. I'm going to be relaxing, and I'm going to get some sleep. I've had a long week, so... Okay. All right, so we will see everybody next week, hopefully with the winner of the PTC from Michigan. 
and then two. Well, not that next, next week, week, week after. Like the, the Vishka BTC is not this weekend; it's the week after. Ah, well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yep. So we'll get every. Oh yeah, that's right. Vishka BTC is during the Kaladesh thing. So we're also gonna have me talking about my first time playing in a Magic Sneak Peek next week, in two weeks too. That'll be something. Yep. You know, gonna build me some red racing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll see everybody next week. Uh, I have no idea what we're doing next week, but we'll wing it. We always do. Yep. yep. We, we always do. do. All right. Take it easy, everybody. Again, don't forget, like, subscribe. Leave comments in the comment section. I do read and answer them. He Apparently, does. I, I do. All right. Bye, everybody. Night. Bye.